In this particular podcast video, I have with me Anudosh or Andi for me because we are really, really good friends, and he is currently an IIT Madras student. He has participated in JSOC not only as a contributor or a mentee, but also as a mentor. He has shared his entire two to three years worth of open source contributions experience. In this video, we have specifically talked about open source contributions, his first contribution, and how you can replicate it. How do you find these repositories to contribute to? The third thing that we've talked about is so do give it a like, do subscribe to the channel. I've seen more than ninety percent of the people have not subscribed, so please do subscribe. It really means a lot. And yeah, let's get right into this video. So, Ande Bhai, देखो. Let me start off with uh, what's the basic essence of uh, open source contributions. What is it exactly? क्योंकि बहुत सारे ऑडियंस जो है दे आर स्टार्टिंग इट फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम सो लाइक वॉट इज ओपन सोर्स कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन ओके सो वील टॉक अबाउट द एसेंस ऑफ ओपन सोर्स सो बेसिकली स्पीकिंग देर आर लाइक टू काइंड ऑफ सॉफ्टवेयर इट्स मेनली क्लोज सोर्स सॉफ्टवेयर एंड ओपन सोर्स सॉफ्टवेयर ओपन सोर्स सॉफ्टवेयर ये है जिसका कोड तुम्हें गिटअप या कहीं होस्टेड मिल जाएगा अच्छा अभी थोड़ा एसेंस में बात करते हैं हम लोग तो एसेंस है जैसे आप कोई ओपन सोर्स सॉफ्टवेयर उठा लो जैसे टेंसर फ्लो उठा लो आप अभी टेंसर फ्लो का ये सीन था कि गूगल डेवलप टेंसर फ्लो फॉर अराउंड ट्वेंटी ईयर्स ओके सो गूगल वॉज यूजिंग इट इंटरनली फॉर वट एवर बेनिफिट टेंसर फ्लो हैड टू ऑफर बट सीन ये कि एज अदर सॉफ्टवेयर स्टार्ट कैचिंग अप लाइक पाइट एंड लाइक बाकी सॉफ्टवेयर स्टार्ट कैचिंग अप दे वर लाइक चलो अभी हमने इतना डेवलप कर लिया है we want the larger community to like extract benefits okay. of it so chalo let's make it open source uh-huh. so that the whole world can contribute to it okay. so now tensorflow is open source cool so basics to abhi samajh gaya right uh-huh. but i think what the audience would like to hear from you is your journey through open source contribution and like how did you first start so that from your experience maybe they can learn from it. august 2021 i wanted to choose a domain for myself uh-huh. which i wanted to work on it could be ml ai uh-huh. it could be like getting my dsa skills uh, stronger uh-huh. and open source was also an option there so like 3 months i did open source i was like patience to rakh raha par kuch ho nahi raha hai i can't like feel anything coming out of it so 3 months i did open source bahut patience rakha par i then gave up like due to college work and other cats i gave up thinking it's not for me but like come next year then i started again in september of 2021 mm. so seen yahi tha ki like i saw like how i came to know about google summer of code and how yeah. that works mm. one of my close friends he got into gsoc mm. and like see i study in iit madras and uh-huh. uh, udhar itna open source ka culture nahi hai to be honest udhar nahi hai so like college se to itna help nahi milne wala tha that i knew i had to find someone like outside mm-hmm. of my college so i just asked him for guidance mm-hmm. september 21 to around november i struggled a lot i didn't know how to use an other github workflows uh, then like i was trying to solve some bugs but uh, wasn't It's making too right. much progress yeah, yeah. like i still remember making very new contributions and so uh, what, I, what what was like your first contribution like if you can just explain okay so i started contributing to like couple organizations which are based from the pi data community those python, were python, ha, python. Ha, correct hmm. so those were network x and simpy like okay. network x is a library which deals with graph algorithms and on that hmm. simpy is a sister library to numpy so numpy deals with numeric computations and all that hmm. in python hmm. simpy is a sister library to that which deals with symbolic stuff so बेसिकली अभी हमने जीसॉक के बारे में बात किया वी टॉक्ट अबाउट जीसॉक वट एग्जैक्टली इज जीसॉक एंड आर देर अदर सच कॉम्पिटिशन दैट पीपल कैन पार्टिसिपेट इन आई वुड लाइक टू इंटरप्ट यर लाइक यू टर्म दीज आर कॉम्पिटिशन वी नीड टू रियलाइज दीज आर एंड कॉम्पिटिशन दीज आर एंड इंटर्नशिप्स दीज आर मेंटरशिप प्रोग्राम्स लाइक आपको एक मेंटर और एक को मेंटर असाइन होगा एंड यूल बी डीलिंग विद दैम लाइक थ्रू आउट दिस जर्नी ऑफ टू 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 पॉइंट फाइव मंथ्स so it's not like uh, an internship where you'll be assigned a team yes. team mein kaam bad jayega so uh, apart from gsoc what are the other uh, programs that people can look into see i'll just give you a small overview of gsoc see as i told you all uh, open source hai. there's no one hiring software developers to work on the open source software yeah. so like where does the 
who brings in the money here? Yeah. Otherwise, open source software would be dead, right? The whole open source community, no, if there's no money, nobody would be working on it. Mm. And you want like fresh minds, like uh, students, to get involved in this. So Google is like, okay, we'll uh, take up this responsibility. Google, they have yeah. funds to yeah, yeah. Google. They don't uh, lack short in funds to like pay stipends to students. Mm. So they are like, okay, we'll come in here. They are like, so there's a website. If an organization wants to take part, they'll register there. They'll select some 200 good organizations from the list of organizations which registered so that year. So first step is selecting the organizations. Okay. So like organization selection period bhi hota hai hmm. before the mentee selection period. Okay. Once the organizations are selected, they'll uh, update their idea page or the page where they've hmm. put up all projects. They want to get done with by this so tenure. This year's GSOC's um, organization selection has been done. Yeah, right? that happens back in February. Uh, organizations also have to uh, like turn in an application. Uh, and GSOC, based on like how active is the org participations have they made uh, in past GSOC tenures, mm-hmm. those all count. Karke, finally, they get a list of selected organizations. Now Google ka kaam khatam ho gaya hai. Abhi Ox ka kaam chalu hota hai. They'll put up their uh, project and idea list. Expected outcome hota hai. Expected skills like coding languages and all which are tech stacks and all which are expected from students. Uh, all that would be listed in the and do, page. Are there any any organizations where even beginners can apply to? Maybe they don't know any programming knowledge as of now. Ye jo Ox select hota hai, they have very clear deliverables very clear expected mm. tech stacks which students should know mm. so and there are 200 orgs ah. it's not like if one org doesn't work out for you it's not like the other org won't so for example agar kisi ko python nahi aata rahega they might not be able to contribute to simpy or uh, django ya jo bhi but there are 100 other orgs yeah. which are based in cpp c exactly. you'll find orgs which are based in like coding languages which mm. many people might not use like fortran okay and even in these coding languages, do they need to be like experts? No, 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 no. Like they just need to understand. Ki- correct, correct, correct. See, expert only is not hai. Times people are not writing clean code. Correct, correct, correct. It's also important because, uh, just you know, like uh, a person might not know the entire code base. Correct. So if he wants to find a particular code, he should be able to read it properly. Like, if it's clean code, nahi hai, agar achhe se nahi likha hai, he might not understand it in the first. Place. Correct, correct. This is also some tips and tricks hota hai if you uh-huh. know the grep command. Okay, let's say you run a program hmm. and you get an issue out of it. Uh-huh. Like, some error message on screen pe display. Hua. Uh-huh. Now you want to debug and like get to the point from where this error message was uh, thrown out on your terminal so using the grep command you can like straight up jump through all files and get to that point you don't really have to debug the whole code for that for example abhi samjho koi ek website bana raha hai um, and he is coding on react js for example right. So wo grep command use karke they can actually get into ke uh, konse file se error message aa raha hai aur wo aapko fix karna hai fir Okay, okay, got it, got it. So, abhi ek aur cheez ho jati hai. so these were about debugging the code and everything. Even like issues ke section, mein bhi, there might be already pending issues that they can solve. Maybe if they are not finding issues by themselves. Um, we've talked about all of these things. Let's move over to the hardships. You said that you did the proposal. GSOC, mein you got selected for Senpai's organization. But we don't know the exact way through which you went into it, right? What was the proposal like and how did you uh, come through it? So, as I told y'all, March tak, I just contributed to Simpai. Hmm. Like, they, it's very good to have like a rapport with your uh, mentor. So like Kalivi has been uh, working for the series module and the limits module since like past GSOC tenure. So I knew if I apply for this project, he'll be my mentor. Uh-huh. So it's like building a rapport with him and just letting him know that I know how to code and like get through issues and all. So I used to like send in pull requests. I used to get it reviewed by Kalevi. So like I was in touch with him uh, on a daily basis from like uh, January to March. So he knew like we have a candidate here who will probably apply for GSOC under this project. So he started like giving me tips and what all I should be putting in my project to get accepted. Okay. Like we had a lot of review sessions mm-hmm. where he gave me a lot of advice on what I should be putting in my project and how I prioritize the topics I put in. How did you get in connect with uh, Kalivi in the first place? By open source I mean it's open for all. There's nothing done behind the bars or something behind the walls. So 
you aren't you aren't going to dm him or uh, you aren't going to message him on some private chat or something it's like you do the work he sees the work you are doing good work he'll get back to you got it so like you were making so many pull requests as right. you just mentioned so he would have been reviewing your code and seeing ki correct, uh, correct, this correct. guy is contributing correct so around march second week i start making my proposal and to be honest proposal banana it's not easy nahi like you'll have to do lot of research so i'll explain one like segment from my proposal so like uh, we were talking about limits okay for limits ya kuch bhi ho jaye there'll be an algorithm to solve the limit right so ek special cases of functions hote hai jaise we call them exp log functions which are like complex functions involving exponential functions and the logarithmic function so iske liye there's an algorithm called the grunts algorithm Now ये लिखा था डोमिनिक ग्रंट्स ने वेन ही वॉज डूइंग इज पी एच डी एट एम आई टी सो द थिंग इज सिंपल से सिंपल लिमिट लाइक एल एन एक्स का लिमिट जीरो पे इवन फॉर दैट यू नीड टू गो टू समूज एस रिसर्च पेपर सो उसका पूरा थर्टी पेजेस आई हैड टू लाइक गो थ्रू इट समझना पड़ा था हाउ दी एल्गोरिज्म वर्क इट्स एन हाईली रिकर्सिव एल्गोरिज्म सो आई हैड टू गो थ्रू दी होल रिसर्च पेपर एंड देन आई एम लाइक ओके आई गॉट दी थेरी डाउन हाउ डू आई कन्वर्ट दिस इन टू कोड ओके सो वंस यू फाउंड द इशू वंस यू फाउंड ऑल ऑफ दीज थिंग्स हाउ वॉज द प्रपोजल लाइक इन यू टॉक बिट मोर अब प्रपोजल पे बहुत स्ट्रेस किया था मैंने लाइक सिंपाई इज एन ऑर्ग लाइक टू थाउजेंड एट से चल रहा है इट्स अ ल्यूक्रेटिव थिंग लाइक पीपल आर लाइक ओके विल अप्लाई फॉर सिंपाई इट्स अ वेरी ग्रेट ऑर्ग टू कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट टू सो सिंपाई गेट्स इन लॉर्ड ऑफ प्रपोजल्स Like in my year, we had some thirty-nine proposals. In के अंदर क्या-क्या चीजें रहती हैं? Do you put in deliverables? Do you put in what are the things that you put in base? Okay, so every org has a template for itself. Okay. They want to know your background. As in Simpai, me they they obviously would have liked to know mathematical background. They want to know your programming slash technical background. Like what all languages you code in. They want to know whatever prior contributions you've made to the organization. You have to clearly list out whatever contributions you've made. Like I've also seen like when uh, you know you apply to jobs, you apply to specifically remote jobs. Uh, first and the foremost thing that they see is not even your resume. It is primarily your GitHub profile. So does open source contribution help in that space also? Yes, exactly. Like I'll use an analogy here. Just say most students in college. Let's take a full stack developer here. He'll make a Netflix clone, host it on his GitHub, yeah. and if he reaches out to some. remote hiring team he will get rejected here because there's no one using your clone yeah. there's no one using your clone that's a dead project what you written code for isn't impactful like there's nobody using your code this is where open source contributions come in aap jo contribute kar rahe ho at the end of the day some end user is using that code so like if you write code for these highly influential libraries like i code for numpy simpy and all these libraries at the end of the day the code you've written but is being used by a vast majority of people and like that makes sense like koi team hai there'll be some remote team who uses numpy internally and they'll be like okay if we have a member who works for numpy it'll be so easy to get uh, stuff working for our code base once you've uh, developed your uh, github profile you won't actually require a cv or resume or something your github profile as a stand alone should be enough to like get you in if you like reach out to someone so for example uh, you talked about numpy right so jo numpy ko use karke there might be some other companies or organizations that would Correct. be for profit that might not be uh, open source also Correct. and they would be making money also on the sides uh, they would be interested in hiring you because you have abhi tak mere sath hi hua nahi hai par agar if that's the case it'll be really good yeah. and i believe it might happen some day with me also so the thing is yeah okay. but that's that uh, you have a better advantage correct. at getting hired correct. than correct. anyone else correct see once you've developed your uh, github profile to be honest you don't even have to like hit up people okay. github is open anyone can see your profile uh-huh. as i said mai lfx mein reject hua tha but the org admin reached out to me people will reach out to you you don't yeah. actually have to reach out to people you, you just have to add in your maybe your email address correct 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 that's, that's important yeah. you need to uh, in your github profile just keep your uh, email address and maybe your twitter account updated that's that should do it i i remember this one time uh, so i had built a small repository for uh, nft collections right so many people started using that pro, uh, pro, uh, repository out and i think i got like 300 folks on that uh, repository 
so someone reached out to me on my email address and they had a project where they wanted to build their nft and uh, they reached out to me that you know we are already using your code now can you help us with this custom specific okay. thing and we'll hire you uh, for the entire see this is how it works open source involves a lot of lurking like people might not reach out to you but they are seeing what you do- what you are doing and like basically there's a point where they are like okay this is the guy we should maybe reach out to him okay i think we've covered yeah, we've it covered all so uh, thanks buddy thanks bro uh, for being here and i hope to see you more and dikhte chalo bye bye